Sonic, the heart of your system. Hi, Andrew here from Kit Guru. We're at one of the MSI's production facilities in mainland China. We're here with Mark, who's the product manager for the new product. Mark, what is it? What are we looking at here? Yeah, this is our latest uh, gaming desktop model, which is Trading X. And straight away you can tell just how slim this product is. Um, but what seems to be amazing is how much power you put in. What kind of processor can you get in this system? Yeah, we can support the latest the 9th gen Intel CPU, which is KSQ CPU. So everything up to 9900K? Yeah, sure. Okay, you've got quite a small set of chambers here, and anyone looking at it will tell straight away that the graphic card is taking up a lot of the space. Yep. What graphic card will this system support? Yeah, it's also equipped with the latest NVIDIA's RTX 2080 Ti, can up to 2080 Ti. <coughs> so you've got, an, in this one we've got 11 gig 2080 Ti. Yes. You've got 9900K, yes. standard clock, not overclock. Yes, thank you. Yep. And noticing on the back by the motherboard, you've got M.2 slots straight above the motherboard, straight above the CPU, yeah? So you can... Yeah, we can easily do the upgrade to change the SSD. Just remove the side cover and then you can upgrade the SSD. And what SSD prices have been coming down quite a lot. What standard SSD do you supply? What's the normal SSD? Yeah, so we can support both uh, PCIe SSD and also a SATA SSD. Uh, for the trading X, we will uh, use the PCIe SSD. So the, you put M.2, what capacity is standard? Yeah, maybe like uh, 256 gigabyte on or, or uh, 512 gigabyte. Okay. No, it's also you've got two mounting plates on the reverse side here, so you can have two more drives on top. Yep. And these would be standard two and a half inch yes. mechanical or SSD. Yeah, both a uh, hard drive and SSD we can support. And what do you supply as standard? Standard configuration would be M.2 with what kind of hard drive? Yeah, maybe just like to give up to two terabyte uh, hard drive. Okay, yeah. so you've got a lot of components in here generating a lot of heat. How do you get rid of the heat? I mean, <coughs> straight away we can see the PSU's mounted at the bottom. Yeah. Is that pushing the heat into the machine? Uh, no, because we have our MSI unique silent stone cooling technologies, which means we have three independent chambers. We got independent airflow for our CPU, Okay. and also for our uh, GPU and also for our uh, power supply. So it can be very cooled down while around the for loading. So basically when you put the panel, you come with a choice of two panels, right? The end user can choose to mount a closed panel or a tempered glass panel magnetic catches. Is that yeah. right? Yes, correct. So if you put the standard panel on the side, you've yep. got two air inputs for the graphic card. Mm -hmm. And then it what puts the heat out the back, or does it pull from the back and push out the front? And uh, the side panel is in uh, at its side, so the the airflow in is from the VGA and also from the power supply and also from the CPU. So the CPU side, CPU basically will draw in through this fan here, yeah. and will it, and then will what it will go out the uh, vent at the back and also going up. And also through the roof, yep. the GPU pulls in at the front and expels at the up rear. And up. And you've got the power supply sucking in the side and blowing the heat straight down. Yep. What kind of power supply do you use? I mean, if you want to have 9900K with a 2080i Ti, yeah. what kind of PSU do you supply? What is the SFX? Uh, it is a 650 watt SFX standard power supply. We use the standard power supply. And I mean, they're tiny, but you can touch almost everything. So upgrading on this is quite straightforward. It's quite easy to upgrade yourself. Sure, you can easily upgrade your uh, VGA card, uh, upgrade your SSD, and also the CPU memory. You can do it in a very simple way. Do you use a special motherboard or is a standard mini ITX board? Yeah, standard um, mini ITX motherboards. Okay, and you actually make them in the building. We've been on the production line, we've seen the boards being made, we've seen the graphic cards being made as well. So within the two or three buildings here, everything is made in-house? Yeah, right. Okay. Um, when would you expect this to be in the shops? Uh, it will be available in early December.
early December, and what kind of price? If you start with a standard 2080 with a 9700K? Yeah, 9700K, and maybe MSRP might start from 2199 and uh, euro and uh, de depends on different uh, configuration you can choose your own uh, cpu and also the vga car and uh, we will come out different M msrp and the, the high end you've got it's quite an expensive spec to have the full if you want the 2080 ti with 9900k it's quite a lot of money for a small machine yeah. but i've got to say we've had them on um during the day it's, it seems almost silent yeah how much time and effort do you spend on the Noise suppression. Yeah, so from the from the study, from the ID creations, it take us almost a year to implement these new products. Yeah. And um, you saw in a presentation earlier, you guys are still pushing to be number one in gaming. You think this is possible? You were saying that more people search for MSI gaming yeah. than any of your competitors. Can you, can, you, can you back that up by becoming number one in this form factor? Okay, uh, let me share with you. Because with our Trident 3, our first Trident series models, we found many people have this kind of compact PC requirement. They, they probably don't need a console PC, but they prefer a real desktop PC. Okay. And then following that idea, we had come out this Trident X. So we are confident this one will be the most compact but the powerful smallest PC uh, in the market. Also, you guys seem to be aiming for <coughs> very strong reliability. You are showing us earlier um, in your test facility how you test the components coming in. For example, the solder, the plastic for the PCB. These are all tested with like in destructive house. and non-destructive in-house before it ever makes it to the production line. Yep. That's yep. quite a lot yep. of testing going on. Yep. Okay, this should be an interesting product. We can't wait to get it in Kit Guru Labs. Um, don't forget to subscribe. Give us a thumbs up if you like the video. Remember to stay tuned if you want more content like this.